Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Minecraft video here on the channel. Today, guys, we're going to be showing you how you can make a work and death counter in Minecraft, ladies and gentlemen. A counter that tracks your deaths in Minecraft. So, with that being said, guys, if you're interested in how in, in how to do this, be sure you stay right here because we're going to be showing you right now how to do that. So, that being said, let's get right into the tutorial. So, ladies and gentlemen, first off, what we're going to do is actually give you a little example of see what we're working with before we actually get down to the building of this redstone contraption right here. Of course, this is what you're gonna need to make at later stage uh, to actually do this cool death counter. But firstly, guys, we're just gonna quickly flick these two things back on and off quickly, the first two command blocks, just so that we can set up our death counting. As we uh, put your attention to the, the the right side of the middle center of the right side of our screen, you will see that it says there are deaths. All right, now obviously we're gonna get our test subject, Mr. Darvaldorf and MK Scooby. He is our test subject. What we're gonna basically do is we're gonna drop the hatchet and he's gonna die. And you're going to see that's going to register one death for MK Austin Muscooby. Now next up we have your Piccolo Rex. And obviously if he dies, you're going to see that he also gets a death. Now obviously if I was in survival and jumped off, it would also say my name. But since I'm in creative, uh, it's obviously not going to work. And obviously you see Scooby died again. Rex died again, so they're both going to get two kills apiece. So now, ladies and gentlemen, how do you do this? Well, we're going to be showing you all right now. Now, guys, we already talked about these two blocks already. These are the blocks that you actually make um, in order to activate the thing. So let's just take a look at them quickly so that you can see what to do. We're going to be going through this whole contraption right now. So this is the first command block. Obviously, you're just going to have to put it to impulse, unconditional needs redstone, and then basically just copy exactly what you see. That's last scoreboard, objectives, add defs, dummy. Now, obviously, um, make sure there's spaces there. And I didn't call you dummy by the way guys it needs to be there so yeah just just to clarify that anyway um then what you're gonna need to do is go to the next one all right this is a set display obviously make an impulse unconditional needs redstone and copy this command right here slash scoreboard objective set display sidebar now obviously this you can name it whatever you want this is basically the name of the um the def counter on your right obviously we call it defs but you can name it whatever you want you can name it potatoes or or feet or maybe just um you know skills or whatever you can name it anything you want we just named deaths because obviously this is a death counter so it would make sense to call it deaths and just in case you want you guys obviously it doesn't have to be color we just you know we made it color that it's color text just because we wanted it to be color for the right um, on the death counter but obviously it doesn't have to be it's your choice you can now go to the third command block guys and click impulse unconditionally redstone and then basically scoreboard objectives remove deaths now basically this just removes your whole um your death counter. Obviously, as well, the reset, make sure it will remove and then whatever the name of uh, it is over here. So make sure it uses the same name. Then you go to your buy spam command block. This is basically just to remove any um, spam that would pop up on your screen when you were doing it. For example, you know, it may just say pop up with or like fast spam, a lot of text on your screen saying false, false, or whatever, whatever, whatever. And if that's something that irritates you guys, what you do is you just use this command block, okay, you make it, and you just say slash game rule, command block output false, and now remove this, basically. Remove that nonsense. And then simply what you do is you flick the switch back and forth, just like that, and what it'll do is remove or stop all this text from appearing. Obviously, you just wait for a bit for it to disappear, and then it'll no longer continue spamming you with uh, this text. So as you can tell, no longer are we getting all that spam text. So now those are the first four command blocks, guys. You're always going to need to make these. Obviously, the only thing you can change here right here is basically the name of your, your death counter. Then now what you're going to do, guys, is the next important step of the process. Now, basically, we're just going to call all these things players, all right? So obviously, each player that's going to be in your world. So obviously, right now, we have three players that we're going to work with. So obviously, we have one to three of these devices for each player. Now, obviously, depending on the amount of players you're going to have in your world, there will be the different amount of these things you're going to need to have. If you obviously were just having two players, maybe Steve and Bob, you'd only have one for Steve and Bob. But since there's three of us, MKL Simmer Rex, MKL Simmer Scooby, and myself, MKL Simmer, we have one for each of our cells right there, ladies and gentlemen. Then basically what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to, okay, we'll do the first one first, all right? Obviously, this is for Rex, all right? So what you're going to do is obviously you're going to put it onto repeat, unconditional, always active, and then obviously you're going to put in this command, slash test for, at E, make sure it is always at E and not at A. This is the important part to note. And then basically, guys, what you're going to do is just put in the name equals and then whatever player's name you're dealing with. Since obviously we're dealing with Rex, we're going to put in his name over there. Uh, by the way, just for, you, for those of you curious what this bar over here that says Rex, this is basically just to name the command block. It doesn't have any um, effect on the actual process of this working. But anyway, there you go. That is what you do. Then you just build these contraptions right over here. Comparator and then a repeater right over here. 
and then any block over here, followed by a redstone torch, then another repeater like this, and then you build another command block, and you put in the slash scoreboard players add, and then obviously the player's name, and then defs1, alright. And then obviously the defs1 part comes from, that's the name of your def counter, obviously we named it defs. And then obviously the adds one is whatever we want to appear on the right. Obviously we want numbers to appear there. And we obviously want it in red just because we're doing it in red. And obviously there we go. We put it defs one. And obviously that part you can put whatever you want. Alright. Obviously it's the name of your def board. And then obviously the uh, whatever you want to add to your def counter. Then basically for this guys. You're just going to have to make the exactly the same thing for every player in your world. The only thing changing guys is the name at the at e name equals part. And then at the back here obviously it's also going to change the name right over there but just in case we'll just go through it again so there you go you're going to do it all the same as the, you can see over there now guys just for a quick little input if you guys are wondering about this new stuff they've added out the execute on first tick the delays and tick don't worry about that just ignore that now obviously let's go take a look so there you go then obviously it looks the same as you can tell and then obviously over here and you just copy that obviously you depend on the names you'll put the name the correct names there then we go to the last player which is Scooby you can tell it's the same thing obviously I'll compare it to our repeater our block and um, another repeater and then obviously you do the same thing just with the names changing in the command block like that now guys, if you appear your t uh, make your attention go to the, the def board over there, you will see that it has now two rexes. Now obviously this is just a glitch with Minecraft, sometimes things like this does happen. There's nothing you can really do about it, just exit your world or reset the thing. This is just uh, the fault of Mojang, nothing really you can do at the moment, it's just a glitch, so don't worry about it too much. So there you go, just a few important details to remember guys, just remember to always use at E not at A. Obviously make it exactly like you see here, obviously even the comparator and the repeater has to be exactly the same, make it the same number of ticks and stuff. So copy that exactly, obviously you're going to need one of these rows for each player that will be in your world. So that you can count the def counter. This is obviously to remove the spam text. This is to reset your scoreboard. This is to activate it by flicking it back and forth. Remember to always flick back and forth. So obviously you're going to go like that and that. All right. And that is basically that, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you can make a work and def counter in Minecraft. We hope you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any problems, just tell us down below on what to do. And then basically we will help you to the best of our ability. And if I die quickly, you will see that I get a def there by my name as well. Which my friends obviously really wanted to point out. But that's basically that, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you did enjoy. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with a friend. Once again, if you have any questions, comment down below. But that being said, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.